All right, we are back at the Mount Everest Cafe in Fort Collins. If you remember, last year I was already here taking some pictures of Nepalese food. And um, the way this came together is John Miller, who's behind the camera, is friends with the owner Dawa. I was helping him build a website, so they needed photography. I was here and I did a little makeshift setup to um, get some of the food photography. If you go to uh, their website, then um, you can see some of that photography. And I'm back because there's more food to be shot and I still don't have my studio with me. I only have the camera and um, I will take you through how to take these pictures, how to light things without any specialized equipment, just with what we find here. So let's give that a try. So this is the restaurant, beautiful buffet. Um, from a lighting point of view, this is a real challenge. And um, in here, you know when you take pictures of your food with your iPhone, sometimes they turn out bland and not very interesting from a lighting point of view. That's because the lighting isn't very interesting. So we have to make the best of the lighting that we can. Now we have warmish lights here. You see the, the um, tungsten style light sources here. And then if you turn around, there's the outside. There's sunlight outside. And Creating a mixed light situation is actually the goal that I have. I want to use the outside light as the main light source and just have the inside light, the warmer inside light being the fill light. So let me open the blinds a bit. And, and this is our set. I've already put a bit of a cloth here. I've already put a, <laughs> some stand-in broccoli in here just to get an idea how things will turn out. So. What we're creating is what we call short lighting. If you look, if you bring the camera around, John, and look at the broccoli, you'll see that the main light source is behind. You see this, this um, rim light around it. And from the front, that's mainly the indoor light, the warm light, so we have a cool and a warm light source. And that is kind of the effect I want. I need to fill in a bit on the front, but this is pretty much already good lighting. So, what do a white balance for? Well, in my case, I kind of like this to look warm, so I'll probably white balance for the cooler outside light. And the way I do it is I do custom white balance. So let me just do this. I'm going to shoot, I d and I don't bring a gray card with me, right? So um, what I'm going to do is this white tablecloth here. It's a paper tablecloth. Um, looks fairly neutral to me, and it gets the outside light, it gets a bit from the inside, and I think a white balance, it kind of mixes the light sources. And I'm getting a white balance from here, just, oh, that was overexposed. Shouldn't be overexposed. Okay, so here we have it. This is our basis shot, and now all I do is I go into the menu, go to custom white balance, click set, use that picture as a reference for white balance. And now what I do is I set my white balance from auto white balance to this little symbol with the two arrows pointing in the middle. That is custom white balance. So now that is white balanced. What I just showed you is um, the way you do it on Canon cameras. Nikon cameras are a bit different, but check out your camera manual. Um, it's, it's described in there as custom white balance and it's fairly simple to set up. And then you'll have a spot on white balance for even strange light situations like this one. So, here's Dawa. Dawa, he's the owner of the place and he's already started preparing a few things. We agreed on like the shrimp and look at the color combination. We have the red shrimp, we have the green cucumbers, we have yellow, um, uh, yellow lemons, we have red tomatoes, we have the, the green bell peppers. This is beautiful. Let's put this on the table. Thank you, Dawa. Okay. And this is cauliflower with, um, what's the color, the yellow color? Uh, curry, yellow curry. Yellow curry, okay. Yes. So yellow curry, we have, um, that looks like some squash or carrots. 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 Yes. We have green peas. Um, again, we have this beautiful combination of colors. And when I set up the set, I put this in as a stand-in. So now all I have to do is drop it in and just look at the lighting on this. Now let me take a few test shots and I'm using my, it's a 70 to 300. Um, you could use a macro lens for that, you could use a 50 millimeter lens for that. Um, I'm shooting at a bit of a longer focal length. And now, just looking at that, I'm pretty much at the 
almost at the end of the range. There's a minimum focus distance here that I can't get under, but with a telephoto, this is actually coming out quite nice. Have a look at this. So you see the backlight from the window looks quite nice. There's still a bit of darkness in the foreground, so I want to fill in the shadows a bit. I would normally do this using a reflector, so I would put a reflector here that bounces back some of the light from the window on, into the darker areas. Um, I don't have a reflector, but I think Dawa can help us with a white napkin. Oh, sure. Do we have a white napkin somewhere? Because, you know, a white sheet of paper, a white napkin, even like a <laughs> white tablecloth or something, or someone wearing a white t-shirt standing close to it will... Look, look at this. This is our reflector. Perfect. Perfect. Let me fold this in half and then in half again. Okay. Dawa, can I make you my assistant? Yes. Okay. So what I want you to do, look, look, see the light here? Oh, sure. See how it's dark here? Okay. Now, look what happens. See how it's brightening okay. up? Okay. See when I put it here, oh, how, yeah. how it's brightening up? So I want you to hold this here. Okay. The other thing I like to do is, um, I like to add some cutlery to the picture because that gives me a relation for size that gives me a nice, uh, let me see, maybe just, just put it on here. It gives me a nice context that it's not just food on a plate, but someone is going to eat it. So let me see what I can get from that. That looks nice. Actually, let me turn that around. I want more reflection on the fork. So I want the window to bounce off the fork and give me nice highlights here. I'm coming in lower on this one. Look at these pictures. Oh, that's it. I think this is good. Yes. Okay, I want to come in even lower. Let me grab a chair. So I can be sitting down, maybe even add a knife in here. Just for some context. Oh yeah, this looks good. So now we're getting... And I'm manual focusing here now because it just works better in this context. Can you hold this like here? Okay. okay. So the closer this reflector, the more br the more broad the light source, the fill light source will be, and that gives it a nice, almost studio kind of feeling. So it might seem that the reflector is almost in the picture, but I'm shooting kind of almost a macro kind of shot, so there's not much in the way. And I'm playing with a different focus. Turn that around a bit so I get more lemon in it because that's a nice fresh yellow tone. Okay, maybe almost like casual, see? Oh, sure. Like someone put this here casually, let, let it drop. Look at this, look at how fresh this is. I want to eat here. If I see, <laughs> if I see this, I want to eat here. So I want some more green in there as well. So let me, I'm going to just drop some of that on top will be out of focus but it adds a green splash to it and again this is very macro so yep yeah. again like this perfect so now in addition to the in addition to the yellow and red we also have some green and that green makes it pop very nicely I think we got it. We have some shrimp on there, tomatoes, and everything else. With a even 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 the <laughs> look at that. Yeah. We have an additional reflector now. Now it's it's aluminum foil, which works. But what you want to do to get a more dispersed light distribution is you want to crumple it up. So. Um, So I'm crumpling this up, and then you pull it out again and all of a sudden it will disperse the light in many directions. So now, let me see how this works. If I take it away and I put it there, you have even better fill light now. Okay, so can you bring me a little container with oil and a little brush? 
Do you have that? Yes. Like a brush? Because yeah. I want to put some oil on top of the shrimps oh, sure. to make them look more juicy. That's a little trick for food photography. When the food comes fresh from the pan, it's nice and juicy, but then after a while it starts drying up a bit. And by just spreading a bit of oil over it, uh, just some vegetable oil, whatever you have in the kitchen, olive oil, um, just use a little brush, brush it on top of the, in this case, the shrimp, and they will just come, come back to life and be, be very, very juicy looking. And um, the good thing is you can eat them afterwards. They're not... It's, Food photography we're doing here is different from the food photography you would do for a big, let's say, TV commercial, where they use hairspray and, and artificial coloring and these things. We're not going to use any of that. We're using natural materials. Um, we're just trying to get the colors right by putting the right ingredients on there, by working with a good light. And as a result, it won't need much of tweaking. It will even be very easy in post-processing to get it right. And um, the results? I think are perfectly okay for a website or even for a little cookbook. Perfect. So we have, a, we have oil, we have a brush. I'm just going to dip the corner in a bit. Now just put a bit of oil on here. Look how this comes to life all of a sudden. I can't wait to, to actually eat the shrimp. <laughs> it looks so good. This looks like it's, like it's fresh out of a frying pan. Okay, so now I'll change the angle by stepping on the chair. Now I'll shoot this from above. And the oil is helping me to get some really nice reflection here. The light, oh, ooh, look at this. Oh, yes. Look at this. What I'm actually doing is I'm using the knife and fork to the to lead the viewer into the picture towards the food and the color combination is just brilliant. Let me get something closer. How close can I get? Oh, really close, okay. Let me move the chair back a bit to just get a, a slightly shallower angle because then I get more light from the outside reflecting off of the food. That was doing an excellent job. So, if you ever if you ever need to change jobs, I got a job for you. Oh, I like this. Oh, I like this. I like what the light does um, with, in conjunction with the oil. If you look at the, at, let me zoom this in. If you look at the details here, the oil on the shrimp makes the light from the window bounce off the edges and gives it this juicy, juicy look. So I'm really happy with this. I think it really works. Now we need a bit of a different light on the fork. But that is as simple as changing the angle of the fork slightly, maybe even turning it around, putting that here. So you can keep it like that. I'll do the same thing again. Oh yeah, now we have the reflection on the fork. The knife needs a bit of turning. Yeah, this is good. So in studio, I would probably use some, some little contraptions to keep the f to cutlery in place but it works quite well here so now we have oh yes now we have the nice reflections on the fork here we go and now in instead of having this dark this instead of having this dark blob here now we have the reflection that gives us a bit more light on this one so i think we're done with this one Okay, same thing with this one. Um, hey, we can move this one or? Do, no, let's leave it on, that's good. Do you have some fresh peas? Oh, sure. Can you bring some fresher peas? Because what I want to do is I want to make, this is from, from a kitchen, it looks beautiful, but some fresh peas on top will just make it pop even more. There's a bit of a smudge here, so. I guess I'm gonna get a napkin. I'm just gonna use this one to clean the edge of the plate. That's another thing that I see a lot of people uh, not look for. Those are the details you want to look for. Smudges on plates and things, they're always a distraction. So I, I'm going to shoot this back corner here. So I'm not interested in what's going on here. I want the side that has the light on it, but there's this smudge here. Yeah, 
better. There Ooh, there's the peas. Thank you, Dawa. Okay. Now look at how fresh they are. And we'll just need them to add a bit of color. So I'm going to lightly just add a bit of fresh green on here that isn't that isn't that doesn't have any sauce on it. I think that's already good. I try to move a few around just to distribute them a bit better. This is looking nicely. I like this. So pretty much do the same thing. Um, cleaned up this corner so we have a nice corner here. Maybe some broccoli on this side. Um, let me see in terms of cutlery. Let's leave the cutlery out cutlery out for now. Let me just see what we've got. And Okay. Oh, I need some fill light. Look here. Three black in the front. So we need some fill light again. What I like is the way those two bowls kind of, um, they, they balance out the picture. There's this bowl here, this other one repeats it with something in. So this is kind of a nice diagonal going through the picture. But we need fill light and we need our makeshift reflector. Um, let me see which side works better. This side or actually it's this side. Like this, yep. So I'm doing the exact same thing again. Same composition, maybe a bit closer this time. And, oh yes. This was before yes. and this is after. So we have the light here. See how, see how the difference, see what difference that those two different settings make? Just some fill here, some fill here. And this thing comes to life. So same trick again as before. Just add a few highlights in different areas. I think the cauliflower can use some. Oh yes, oh yes. Even the tomatoes. Everything is allowed to look a bit juicier. And even the, oh, the carrots over here. Fresh from the sizzling frying pan all of a sudden. And what kind of oil is that? Just regular? Salad oil? Just sal vegetable yes. oil? It's, uh, Soybean oil. Soybean oil, okay. Yes. All right. Let's just put this to the side. So yeah, you can take any oil that works. So now I'm going to add a spoon. Just a nah. I, I, I dirtied the spoon. Let's take a fresh one. Have lots of fresh cutlery around because you will need fresh cutlery for pretty much every shot. Just place the spoon here. Maybe some peas on it. Oh yes. There we go. A spoon with peas. Looking just nice. And they are nice and shiny too because they are still wet. So... Oh yes. I'm happy with that. Look at this. Have a look at this. So we have this just context added to the sides. Now there's one thing I want to change. I want to change out the broccoli dish for another one. Let me grab a few things off the buffet. At this point, let's change the color from green to red. So I'm going to put some, some strawberries in there. So this could act as the dessert behind the, I think it's plenty, this is plenty. We'll just have some dessert strawberries, because now we switch it out for red. Maybe even just plant a fork in there and lose this one instead. So. And you see how the, how the plate is moved to the side? I just want everything to be close together so we don't have... So we, so we can actually get things together in a very little space. Okay, I like this one. We have several to choose from. Oh, and I think that one is probably going to be quite quite good for the website. 
Now I'm gonna take another few compositions. Can you come around a bit? Yes, like this, exactly, perfect. And you can see it's quite tight with Dawa holding the reflector very close to the food. But it does work. I want to create a little almost almost empty plate with just a few shrimp on it. Yeah, let's bring it over here. Revisiting the shrimp. I want to do like a little almost like a gourmet gourmet French kitchen kind of thing with just a few shrimp on there. They need to be as shiny as possible. Again, think sizzling frying pan. Think beautiful sizzling frying pan. Careful so you don't spill anything. I mean, already, let me just take a shot of that without any added cutlery or anything. So even this, if you, if you zoom in a bit, look at how juicy that looks now with the light from the window. I mean, that corner here, mwah, that is... It's gonna get you hungry. It's gonna want, make you want to come here to the Mount Everest Cafe in Fort Collins, by the way. Yeah, don't, don't be afraid of not having like a ton of things on a plate. Have a look at this. So I'm gonna crop this later, but if you look at a composition like this, just a very tight crop on this, I think this is juicy. People will want to come and, and eat this. I like it. Okay. Um, let me try a few more angles here, just while we're at it. Let me place that, cilantro. Again, primary color contrast. So you have the red shrimp and the and the nice and, and green counterbalance against the red. So just a bit more oil. Yeah, oil really is a secret weapon. Also on salads, it works really good on salads if you just dab it on the edges of some greens. Now we'll do this again. Yep, good job. And let me change the angle. You stay there, you stay there. Just like this. Because now... I come over a bit. This is... Oh yeah. I'm moving, I'm moving left and right to get those reflections just right. So I'm pretty much adjusting the way the reflections look by adjusting my position. And this... And... A bit from here. Are you getting hungry? Yes. Yeah. Are you getting hungry? That's great. Here we go. I think that's some that's some that's that's just perfect for a website. Just to give you that little kick. Mmm. And you can really clearly see their shrimp, so it's it's all very or very all very tidy. The little splotches in the front here, I will take care of those in Lightroom. I'll I'll just clone them out. That'll be simple. Okay, good. This dish is done. Let's see what we can find next. Let's go to the buffet. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'll just walk around the buffet and um, have a look at what we have in terms of textures, in terms of uh, colors, and how these things could contrast each other nicely. So I'm gonna build a little plate with food on it. So we have green lettuce, we have orange, we have red tomatoes, we have orange. Um, carrots, we have different sauces, we have red tomato, uh, red <laughs> tomatoes, yeah, no, strawberries, and so that would be more the vegetable and dessert side. There's some rice pudding. Mm -hmm. Rice pudding, difficult to photograph. You might want to put this in a little, in a little container of that sort, and maybe even decorate it because rice pudding by itself looks very boring. So here we have different curries, we have spinach, we have rice. I think I'll... We already shot rice last year, so I'm not going to do a rice dish anymore. But I think I will put a bit of naan bread on the plate. Let me just do that. Let me come around here. 
and I'll try to find a nice looking, this is nice, yep. This is naan bread. Um, we'll put some green on here. So naan bread has more of a yellow, yellow color. Let me put a bit of broccoli on here. And again, it doesn't have to be much. It's there for the color and the texture. Um, let's see, the curries. I want to put some curry in one of these containers and put that on here. So let me find something. That one has nice textures. So this is the chicken kima, and I'm putting on putting this in half of the container. So I can fill the other half with something that will contrast it. So I'll go around to the other side. I might actually use rice on this one. Now last time we had the white rice, now we use the pulao rice, which is I don't know what it is, but it's nice and yellow. So we have a nice and yellow color here. And John just tells me it's delicious. I, I'll trust you. I'll trust you on this. I just want it to be nice and even. So now we have this little container with the two different ingredients. And I think it needs a splotch of red of some sort. So let me just add a few tomatoes. That will just be, again, there in the background. All the colors, the green and the red, will be in the background because I will shoot from above and I will focus on that curry dish here. So we have a few tomatoes just to add some colors. And by the way, after we finish this, we'll eat everything. I'm looking forward to that too. Mm -hmm. Turn that around, put the nice side on top. Here we go. Now let's see how we can turn this into a nice photo. And now let me turn that plate. What I'm doing is I'm turning the plate and I'm looking at the light on it. See how the light changes? Look at the broccoli, for example. See how that changes? So I think I wanted something like this. You see how the broccoli now gets this, the light from the side? A little bit of that. Turn this. There's a bit of a splotch up here. I'm just taking this away with my washed fingers, by the way. So, um, this is the composition. I want to shoot it from, from this angle, just so that one side has the naan bread, the other side has the chicken kima with the rice. The way I'm, I'm shooting it now, the way I turned it, I think it looks good without the reflector. I just want to move the spoon onto the other side now. But there's nice light on the broccoli. There's ni nice light on the chicken kima. And the tomatoes look quite nice. So I'm going to shoot from above here. Let me just see. One shot and we're done. <laughs> this turns out really nice. I want to show you. I want to show you some of the pictures that I took earlier. Some details of the wines and the beers. Some some tabs. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, let me zoom in. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Yes. So we have all different kinds of pictures of the shrimps. Yeah. Now, what is this? That is a vegetable curry. Vegetable curry. Yes. So look how nice it looks with the fresh peas on top. Yeah. And then we have this little contrast here with the red and mm -hmm. green. And then comes the, ah, look at this. And look how nice the light is with the reflection yeah. that you put in there. So I think uh, one of these, very, very close picture. I think we have a lot of choice. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. I'm happy. Good, yeah. good food, yeah. good cooking, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and Thank then you. good photos. And yeah. this will be all on your website. Yes. All right. Sure. Thank you guys. Yeah. Thank you guys. Yeah. All right, so the best thing about shooting food is afterwards you get to eat it, like this shrimp. And um, yeah, as you see, it's very simple. You don't need much equipment. A bit of aluminum foil or white paper will help make a great reflector. Um, just make the things look yummy. This one is fresh from the oven and it doesn't look that much different from the one that we prepped with a bit of oil on it. So that's it from the Mount Everest Cafe in Fort Collins. John Miller behind the camera and I say goodbye. Have a good one, bon appetit and namaste.
Mm. It's good.